Hello, hello, hello. Today we are all about how to make Sims 4 launch. If your Sims 4 game doesn't launch, if the EA app doesn't launch, or if the EA app doesn't let you access your games, this one is for you. The first thing that I want you to do is to fix the EA app. That could be done within three steps. First and foremost, if you are on Windows, I just want you to press Control Alt Delete, go to Task Manager. A window is going to pop up. I just want you to search the app called EA Background Service. That one needs to be ended because this is the one that isn't letting you open up the EA app in the first place. We're going to select it and in the top right corner, we are going to click on End Task. Now, another thing that I want you to do is to click on this little arrow, make sure that the EA app isn't showing up among those icons. If it shows up, right click on it and click on exit and do this once again. Go to task manager, select EA background service and end the task. Now, the third fundamental thing that you can do in order to fix the EA app, if it isn't launching any of your games, if EA app is not launching Sims or just basically Sims 4 is not opening, not launching, I just want you to log into your EA app and remove the EA's app cache. You can do that by clicking on those three lines help and then app recovery and it's going to pop up a window you are going to click clear cache make sure you know your credentials before doing this because it might log you out for me it didn't so you should be good to go but just in case just to be sure and once we've done all these steps with the ea app we can now proceed onto launching the game itself and if it launches then it means we are good but if it doesn't launch i suggest you also try the fourth step for fixing the ea app that doesn't launch the sims 4 which is uninstalling the ea app to do that just go into your control panel uninstall an app select the ea app and uninstall it and then you are going to go onto the official ea website only install the official app, the latest app. Do not use an app that is from a while ago within your downloads folder. So we're going to re-download the EA app and we are going to reinstall it, log in, and then repeat the first three steps mentioned in this video. Once we are done with the EA app, if the game still doesn't launch, we know that it's a mod problem and in that case, I always, always recommend resetting the mods folder. I have already covered this topic in many of my videos. I'm going to link them right over here. And if you have severe game issues like glitches, you know, buttons not showing up or just mods acting really within the game, I always recommend resetting the EA folder, which is basically keeping your current EA folder as a backup and getting a new one which is fresh which is clean because it has no corrupted files within for that i have this video and i truly hope this helped you i will see you in my next video if you have any other issues related to sims 4 not launching not opening or ea app not launching games or the ea app not launching at all not opening let me know in the comments down below and i will see you very very soon